Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this reversible hat for men and women. It's for a head circumference between 22 and up to 23 inches, but you can also make it smaller for a head circumference between 20 and up to 24 inches. In the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer in pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now to knit this hat for adult men and women with a head circumference between 22 and 23 inches, you're going to need about 82 grams of sports weight yarn. I actually used two strands of fingering weight, which is equivalent to sports weight yarn. If you need an approximate gauge, I'll go ahead and leave that in the information box as well. Now let's get started and thank you so much for watching. Okay, to knit this hat, these are the needles that I'm going to use. These are three millimeter knitting needles. These are 16 inch long. You can also use longer needles with longer cables and just knit the hat in the round using the magic loop technique. Now, this is the yarn that I'm going to be using. This is a very dark gray, so I did a small sample here. This has been washed in two inches using two strands of this fingering weight yarn. I have 20 rows and 12 stitches in five centimeters or two inches. Um, like I said, this is 100% merino fingering weight. I'm using two strands. To begin here, we're going to knit this hat um, in the round. This is going to be a reversible or lined hat hat that means we're going to knit the hat twice so we need to do a provisional cast on and to do that i have a chain here that i did using a crochet hook now i'm going to cast on a total of 128 stitches i added extra stitches here to my chain and i used a 3.5 millimeter hook you can also use um, a three millimeter hook so here at the end i cut my yarn so just pass your yarn through this last loop don't pull it too much because once the hat is done we're going to come back and undo this and then just remove these chains so that we can knit the hat on the other side but I'll show you that if it's a little confusing right now so to start here we're going to go into the back of the chain if you notice there's a little bump on the back of the chains that's where I'm going to be inserting my needles so into this next chain there I'm going to insert my needle there and I'm going to begin here by just pulling a loop through like this make sure that you keep the same tension here for this part now into the next chain same thing insert the needle through and grab a loop like this into the next grab a loop into the next grab a loop and make sure that you're going through the back of the chain you can clearly see that bump in the back and make sure that you keep the same tension as you do this here continue like this until you have 128 stitches and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished casting on my stitches I have a total of 128 now to join in the round all we're going to do is just knit the first stitch and every single stitch from here on so just knit the first stitch and continue knitting each one of these stitches I'm going to knit this hat with the stockinette stitch. So every stitch for every row is going to be a knit stitch. Continue like this. I forgot to place a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row, but we can see that that's the beginning of the row. So I'll do it once this here is done. So continue for this second row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this first row where I knit all around. I said row two, but it's actually row one because the first thing that we did was cast on, so that doesn't count. So at the end of this row, I have a total of 128 stitches. From here on, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to continue with a stockinette stitch. That means we're going to knit every stitch for every round. And we're going to do this for a total of 81 rows. 
So go ahead and continue and finish this part where you knit 81 rows in stockinette stitch, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 81 rows in stockinette stitch. That is where we knit every stitch for every row. I have 81 rows total. So when we do the other hat, we're going to do exactly the same thing, 81 rows. So now I'm going to start the decrease here and to do the decrease, we need to place some stitch markers. So for me, this is the beginning of the row. What I did here is, here's the last stitch that I did and then I have a stitch marker. So from this stitch marker up to here, the next stitch marker, I have 31 stitches. Then I have one stitch and then a stitch marker. From this stitch marker to the next, again, I have 31 stitches and then I have one one stitch and then one stitch marker from this stitch marker up to this one here I have 31 then I have one stitch in between the stitch markers and then from this stitch marker up to this one here I have 31 stitches so each section has 31 and in between the stitch markers there's one stitch so what I did is we have 128 stitches minus four which are the four stitches that are in between the stitch markers um, that gives me 124 and then I divided 124 by four so that gives me 31 so I have 31 for each one of the sections there's four one two three four here at the end I have the 31 then I stitch marker and then the stitch so this stitch marker here is going to be marking the beginning of the row. So I'm going to put it here on this side. So to begin our decrease, I have 31 stitches here. Um, I'm going to knit two together here at the beginning. This is the beginning of the decreasing part of the hat and we're going to be decreasing um, every other row. So this is row one. Now I knit two together. So now I'm going to knit up to the two stitches before the first stitch marker. So I have one stitch here because this is the decrease stitch. Then I have two. Twenty-eight. Now I have the two stitches before the stitch marker. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make an SSK. We want a left leaning decrease. So I'm going to slip purlwise one stitch, slip purlwise and then the next stitch. And I'm going to bring these stitches back to the left needle. And I'm going to place them like this from back to front. And that's going to change the direction of the stitch. So now I am going to knit two together through the back. This is an SSK decrease. Now pass the stitch marker and the stitch that's between the stitch markers, we always, always knit. Pass the stitch marker and now I'm going to make a knit two together. So knit two together the next two stitches. Now I'm going to knit up to the last two stitches before the next set of stitch markers. So again let me show you. Including this one that I have on the needles I have one, two, Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. I have the last two stitches before the next set of stitch markers, this one here. So here I'm going to again make an SSK decrease. So slip purlwise, slip purlwise these two stitches and then bring them back to the left needle from back to front. And this is going to change the direction so that I can now knit two together 
through the back. That's an SSK decrease again, which leans to the left. Now, pass the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass the stitch marker, and knit two together after the stitch marker. There. Now you're going to continue and do the same thing. You're going to knit up to these two stitches, then you're going to make an SSK, pass the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, pass the stitch marker, and then knit two together. And that's how you're going to continue and finish this first row of decrease. I'm here at the end of this first row of decrease. Now I have the last two stitches before the last set of stitch markers. This is the beginning of the row. So, so here at the end, what I'm going to do is an SSK. So slip, slip, and then return from the back to the front and then knit two together. That's an SSK. Now slip the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, and then slip the stitch marker. This here completes the first row decreases. At the end of this row, I have a total of 120 stitches. Now for the second row, in this row, all I'm going to do is just knit all around like this. So just knit all around all of your stitches. At the end of this second row, you're going to have 120 stitches at the end of this second row. Continue, finish this row, and then I'll come back and show you once again how to begin each decreasing row, and then you're going to continue on your own until we have only a couple stitches left to close the top of the hat. I'm here at the end of this second row. In this row, I knit all around. Now for row three, I'm going to show you again how to decrease. We're going to be decreasing um, every other row or um, odd number of rows. So here, I'm going to begin with knit two together because this second stitch marker here is the beginning of the row. So knit two together here at the beginning of the third row. Now I'm going to knit up to the last two stitches before the next stitch marker. So here I have one stitch where I knit two together. So that's one, two, twenty-six. Now I have the next two stitches before the next stitch marker. Here I'm going to make an SSK. So slip, slip, purlwise, return your stitches from the back to the front and knit two together through the back. There. Now slip the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, slip the stitch marker, and here we're going to knit two together. From here on, that's what you're going to do whenever you come to each one of these stitch markers. So let me show you again. So here I'm going to knit up to the last two stitches before the stitch marker. So knit one, including the one I had on my needles. That's two, three, Twenty-six. I have the next two stitches, so here I'm going to make an SSK. So slip, purlwise, slip, purlwise these two stitches, return the stitches back to the left needle from back to front, and knit two together through the back. Slip the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, slip the stitch marker, and here knit two together. And that's it. That's how you're going to decrease at the beginning before the stitch marker, then knit the center stitch, and then knit two together after the stitch markers. So continue, finish this row. At the end of this third row, you're going to have 112 stitches. We're going to decrease eight stitches 
whenever we do this row and then for row four you're going to just knit all around so even number of rows you're just going to knit odd number of rows you decrease now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here of decreases but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do and all i'm going to do is just repeat these two rows um, one row you knit all around and then the next row you um, decrease continue like this let's continue and decrease and shape the top of the hat and continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do here eventually um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to maybe longer knitting needles and then just continue using the magic loop technique because um, these needles here have a shorter cable and it tends to get harder um, once you start to decrease and you only have a couple stitches so that's what I'm going to do you can also use double pointed needles um, whatever it's easier for you you can go ahead and use okay i'm almost done with the decreasing part here of the hat i have 16 stitches left um, in between the stitch markers i have three stitches um, so three six nine twelve plus four that's 16 stitches left at the end of row 28 row 28 was a knit row where i just knit in the round now since we only have a couple of stitches left i'm going to show you how i'm going to do um, these last couple of rows so make sure that you have a total of 16 stitches left um, so here to do row 29 this is how we're going to work this row um, here i'm using the magic loop technique to knit this bit of the hat in the round because i only have a couple of stitches left so the needles are the same size though so here to begin i'm going to knit one and then the next two stitches i'm going to make an ssk so slip slip pearl wise return your stitches from the back to the front onto the left needle and then knit through the back like this knit two together through the back now remove the stitch markers as we go knit the center stitch remove the next stitch marker knit one stitch and then ssk so slip slip pearl wise return the stitches from the back to the front onto the left needle and knit two together through the back remove that stitch marker knit the center stitch drop that needle and remove that stitch marker turn push your cable Pull the needle from the back and knit one. SSK. Slip purlwise, slip the second stitch purlwise, insert the needle from the back to change the direction and knit two together. Remove that stitch marker, knit the center stitch remove that stitch marker and knit one and then ssk slip slip return your stitches knit two together and remove this stitch marker knit one and here is row 29 at the end of this row you should have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve stitches left at the end of this row. Now, I'm not going to make any more decreases. I'm going to close the top of the hat with these twelve stitches. So now we're going to cut our yarn, leave a nice tail here. So now with this yarn needle, remove these stitches so that we can close the top of the hat here's the last stitch pull the yarn through now you're going to pass the needle through 
like this from the top to bottom like this and this is going to create a knot here and all you have to do here is just pull the yarn and the top of the hat is going to close now I'm going to weave some more of this leftover yarn all around Now insert this through the inside and all you have to do now is just hide your ends, weave this around a couple of times to reinforce the yarn. I think that looks pretty good. Here's the top of the hat. I think I'll leave it like that. That's how it looks from the top. So this part of the hat is done. So now we're going to do the same thing here for the other hat. Okay, so we finished the first hat and now we're going to remove this provisional cast on. Here is the end of the chain that I did and here's the beginning. You can clearly see that this is where we started. There's the slip knot and this is the other end, this is where um, I finished the chain. So I'm going to start on this side. So I'm going to grab my needles. I have my short cables on now and we're going to start right here. Here I had made a knot to keep the stitches together. So I just went ahead and undid that knot. So now we're going to go from top to bottom like this and pick up that first stitch. And as we go, we can pull this provisional cast on and the stitch is going to come loose like this. There's the first stitch. Make sure that you are going through both strands and then find the next one. I like to pull the stitch off and then insert the needle from the top down like this. Here are the two stitches and undo the next stitch and insert the needle through that stitch and this is how you're going to continue stitch by stitch. Pull this provisional yarn there and insert the needle from the top down because this is the right side. Pull that yarn that releases the stitch and immediately insert the needle from the top down. I'm going to do this until I have all of my stitches on my needles. Again, I'm going to have 128 of these stitches on my needing needles and then we're going to get started on the second hat. This is a reversible hat, that's why we did this provisional cast on when we started. So continue and remove all of your stitches and put them onto the needles and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to continue for the second hat. Okay, I removed my provisional cast on. I have all of my stitches back on the needles. I have 128 stitches. Now we're going to do the same thing we did here with this first hat. We're going to now continue. I'm going to use a different yarn color here, but it's the same thing, two strands of fingering weight yarn. That's what I'm using here. I think the equivalent to this would be um, sports weight. Make sure to put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row and all we're going to do here is just knit two stitches using both yarn colors. Here's the tail end of the gray yarn and here's the new yarn color. So I'm just going to knit two stitches using um, these two strands. So knit two stitches. You can also just attach the yarn here to the side and just start knitting with the new yarn. I like to do it this way. Um, that's two. I'm actually going to do three and now I'm going to drop the gray yarn here and just continue now with the new yarn color Like this You can join 
the second color any other way that you like. I like to do it like this. So now all I'm going to do here is just knit in the round with the new color and I'm going to make a total of 81 rows which is what we did here for the body of this hat and then we started the decrease. So all we're doing here is just knitting in the round over and over with the stockinette stitch for a total of 81 rows. Make sure you place a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the row. That way, when we start the decreases here, it's exactly the same. I'll come back and show you how to start on the decreasing part and then we'll finish the hat. Okay, I finished making these 81 rows for the second hat. Now we need to place some stitch markers so that we can start the decreasing part. It's going to be done exactly in the same way how I showed you here. I'm just going to show you the first and the second row and then from there on you're going to do exactly the same thing. It's going to be done exactly in the same way how I showed you here. So you can just rewind the tutorial and just go back to that section where I showed you the decreasing part. So here to begin and decrease for the second hat this is what we're going to do we need to place some stitch markers so here's the beginning of the row stitch marker notice that it's in green the rest of my stitch markers are in a different color that way I will always know where the beginning of the row is so from here from this first stitch marker up to here the next stitch marker I have 31 stitches and then I have one stitch and then a stitch marker from this stitch marker up to the next stitch marker I have 31 stitches and then I have one stitch and then the next stitch marker from this stitch marker up to the next one I have 31 and then I have one stitch and then a stitch marker so from this stitch marker to the last stitch marker I have 31 so each section has 31 stitches and in between the stitch markers I have one stitch so here to begin I'm going to place my beginning of the row stitch marker here so to begin this first row of decrease this is how we start to decrease so you're going to start with knit two together and then knit up to the last two stitches before the stitch marker so we're going to knit one Twenty seven stitches including the knit two together that I did I have 28 stitches but I just counted the st actual stitches that we knit we have the first set of stitch markers we're going to make an SSK here to make a left leaning decrease so to do this there's two ways to do the SSK so let me show you the first one how I do it I slip pearlwise and slip pearlwise these two stitches and then from the back to the front I change the direction so with the left needle put them from back to front like this and then knit two together like this or you can do it this other way I'm going to put them back but I'm going to put them how they originally were so like this you can slip like this knit wise slip knit wise and then put them back on the left needle like this and then just knit two together either way you're going to get the same result uh, the SSK now slip the stitch marker knit the center stitch slip the stitch marker and here you're going to knit two together and then again you're going to knit the stitches up to the last two before the stitch marker so let me show you again that's one two
I've knit 27 stitches, including the knit two together that we did at the beginning. I have 28 stitches here. Now, here we're going to make an SSK. So I already showed you how I do it. I showed you two ways, so I'm just going to continue how I do mine. I slip purlwise these two stitches and then from back to front, put them back on the left needle and then knit two together. Pass the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, drop that needle. I'm using the magic loop technique here. Turn your work. Here's that second stitch marker and now we can knit. You can either knit like this or you can pull the needle and knit these stitches here. Either way, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to knit two together and then knit up to the next stitch marker. So that's one, two, Twenty-seven. I have the last two stitches before the stitch marker, so here you make an SSK. So slip purlwise, slip purlwise these two stitches, and from back to front, put them back on the left needle, and then knit two together through the back. And now slip the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, slip the second stitch marker, and here we're going to knit two together through the front and now knit up to the last two stitches again that's one two Twenty-seven. Here's the last two stitches. Make an SSK. So slip purlwise, slip purlwise the two stitches, put them back on the left needle from back to front, and knit two together through the back. This is the SSK. Slip, slip, knit two. Pass the stitch marker, knit the center stitch, and this completes the first row of decreases. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 120 stitches. We have decreased eight total stitches at the end of this row. And from here on, you're always going to be decreasing eight stitches whenever you do the decreasing row. For the second row, all you do is just knit each stitch all around. And you're also going to have 120 stitches. And that's how you're going to continue just repeating these two rows. Remember that the decreasing rows are odd numbers of rows and then the other rows, the even numbers, are where you knit all around. And that's all you're going to do. Just repeat these two rows. It's exactly how I showed you for the first hat until we have about 12 stitches left so that we can close the top of the hat. I'm going to go ahead and do that, finish this part. Um, in total, we did, let's see, uh, uh, 29 rows. Um, so 29 rows was, um, that'll give you 12 stitches here and then we close the top of the hat. So I'm going to do the same thing. Remember, you can always just rewind the tutorial to this section where I showed you with this hat. It's going to be done exactly in the same way. So continue, let's finish the second hat and then I'll come back and show you the finished hat. Okay, I finished making my decreases. I'm here at the end of row 28. 
I have done a total of 28 rows here for the decreasing part. At the end of row 28, I have a total of 16 stitches. So four, four, four plus four, that's 16 stitches. Um, row 28 was a knit row. That's where I knit all around. So now for row 29, this is how we're going to work the last row. I'm going to knit one stitch here. I have three stitches here, so I'm going to knit one, and then I'm going to make an SSK. So slip, this is how I do it. You can do it both ways, how I showed you here at the beginning. Slip, slip, purlwise, return the stitches from back to front, and knit two together. That's an SSK, remove the stitch markers, knit the center stitch, Remove the stitch marker, knit one, SSK. So slip, slip, purlwise, return the stitches from back to front onto the left needle, and knit two together through the back. Remove the stitch marker, knit one. Here I have two, four, six stitches. I'm going to turn, remove the stitch marker here. Pull the needle from the back and knit one, SSK, slip, slip, return from back to front and knit two together through the back. Remove the stitch marker, knit one, remove the stitch marker, knit one, now SSK, so slip, purlwise, slip, Purlwise, return the stitches from back to front onto the left needle and knit two together through the back. Remove that stitch marker and knit the last stitch. And here is the last row. I have 12 stitches left. Now I'm going to cut my yarn and just remove all of these stitches. This is exactly how I did the first hat. So make sure that you do the same thing. I have 12 stitches left at the end of row 29. Here I'm going to cut my yarn. Leave a little tail there so that we can weave the yarn all around. And with the yarn needle here, we're going to remove all of these stitches. Okay, so here's the last stitch. We're going to go here to the beginning and remove the first stitch. And then do the same thing for each one of the stitches. Pull the yarn. Make sure you leave a loop here. And remove these stitches on this other side. Now we have this loop. Just insert your needle through that loop. And that creates a knot there so that when you pull the yarn, this knot here secures your stitches. Now carefully, Pull your yarn, don't pull too hard. And now we're going to weave this yarn all around one more time, just to reinforce these last stitches here. So you just go all around. Go around a couple of times. This is how we're going to reinforce and close the top of the hat since we can't go through the inside and hide our ends. There, I think that's fine. I'm going to do it one more time just so that I come out right here, right in the center. And then once here, I'm going to go through the little hole here at the top and then go through like this. 
and that's going to create a knot and then just go back through again and just come out on this other side this is where we decreased right through the center right there and the top of the hat is closed you can cut your yarn there and the second hat is all done so now all you have to do is just turn one hat inside it's reversible this is a reversible double-sided knit hat i'm going to go ahead and block my hat and then i'll come back and show you i used 100 percent merino wool so the yarn should bloom so i'll come back and show you how it looks and i will also give you more information on how you can make the hat in various sizes so continue watching okay i finished the hat this is how it looks i went ahead and blocked it here's the top here's the bottom now let's turn it over here's the other side and that's how it looks and just fold it and you have a nice brim it's reversible and it's two layered and this is how it looks on the other side i kind of like this color here Now my husband tried it on and if it's perfect on him, he's got a head circumference of about 22 and 3 fourths of an inch. So I would say that this hat is for adults with head circumferences between 22 and 23 inches. I have a head circumference of about 22 and a half and it fits perfect on me as well. So um, there you have it. You can also make it smaller from a child to a teen size and up to an adult extra large size. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it. I'll leave the number of rows and the number of stitches that you need to cast on for the different sizes. So make sure to look there. It's just a matter of casting on a different number of stitches here and then continuing and make more rows the decreasing part is going to be the same because the stitch multiple i'll go ahead and keep the same which is multiples of four and you're going to do the same thing um, as far as the decreases the only difference would be again the number of stitches that you're going to cast on remember that we did a provisional cast on here so you would do the same thing for um your hat whatever size that you want to make so i'll go ahead and leave that information in the information box along with the um, my etsy shop if you prefer written pattern okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time